we have something special for you guys. In honor of Memorial Day weekend. Labor Day. <laughs> so we have something awesome for you guys. Because of Labor Day weekend, today is the start of our Labor Day week sale. We're gonna be going from today until September 8th. We're giving you guys 15% off everything site-wide. But what's better than that? We've got Bronx Star shirts that we still have. Every one of those Bronx Star shirts, we're selling them to you guys for $15 a piece. Also, any in-stock tank tops that we haven't sold yet, the Do America stuff, $15 a piece. Head over to the website right now, get you guys some merch, save yourself some money on this Labor Day week sale, and help support the channel. 15% off at checkout, no code necessary, it's gonna be applied to your entire order. We'll do one even better. For every single order, we're gonna give you an autographed Robbie Layton sticker. So, head over to the website, get stocked up on your merch with this 15% off sale until September 8th, and help support the channel. So, let's get to the action. Guess what? The day has finally come! Deja Blue's getting fixed! Ah! Haven't had time to fix old Deja Blue. Haven't had a back hatch, but guess what? Today that's gonna change because I have an employee here named Jorge, and Jorge has a building that he rents, and he has a landlord, and that landlord has like six or seven XJs. So he has any parts you need? Yeah! So we're gonna go to Moroni in a little bit and get us one. Then we're gonna get some lunch. We're gonna take you with. But before we can do that, we need to strip this down see what all we're gonna need, see if Deja Blue is even salvageable. I mean, this is bad, bad, bad. Bad news bear. Yeah, so we need a little pry bar, hillbilly. Hang on. Caramba! I did it. I don't need it. I don't need it, hillbilly. These struts are nice, actually. Okay, we're gonna need some tools. What we're gonna do is disassemble this hatch. Actually, we don't even need to disassemble. We just need to take the struts off and cut. We need, oh, well, yeah, we do. We need to take the wiring out. We're not gonna use wiring, but we'll still um, we'll still do it correctly. We'll get this off, then we'll head to Moroni, get us a new gate. We need to, look, we don't throw trash away. On the mountain. I mean, we don't throw trash on the mountain. We pack it out. Pack in, pack out. Oh, hey. Hi, boss. She's not gonna talk today. But see, look, see the yellow on the shirt? Yeah. That'll all make sense here in a little while. <laughs> You're gonna have to stay tuned to see. All right, so I was just doing some inspecting and our back panel right here is pushed in a little bit. So we're gonna have to fix that, which is no big deal. This is all pushed in. I'll show you guys how to get that taken care of. But first things first, we gotta get this off. We'll undo our struts, we'll undo our bolts, and basically this will just come right off. It's been a little while since I've taken an XJ apart. Gotta get the screws out so we can undo the electricals. And then we'll be able to unbolt this and set it on the fence where all the parts go to die. What did you do last night, Lily? Really? I slept. Next to a fire? <laughs> <laughs> no, because fires keep you warm. He don't like to be warm. Okay, he don't need to be warm. These are like dusted in from hundreds of years of abuse. The unfortunate thing is that we'll probably never use this wiring or defrost. <laughs> Maybe. They got blue. It's like excited. Right on the corner. Yeah. I, that's no joke. Winter is coming. We're not going to paint this fully <laughs> until Frederick is back on the road. That's just good business. It's being smart. That's making sure that we have vehicles to utilize for our re recoveries. <laughs> now, this may look easy, but it's not. This is 150 years worth of bodywork training to get to this moment. Taking your hatch off? Yeah. It would have been be easy, we would have done it yeah. months ago. Yeah, if it, were, if it was easy, we'd have had this done as soon as they got to arrive. We'll put it against the wall, the, the fence of shame. A problem that we have now. So when they crash this, you can see this is all up and in. So what needs to happen, is this needs to come out and down. So the only way we can do that is if we uh, go tie it to the front of that tail handler, when we use a chain along, we use a sledgehammer. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is a 20 man job. So make sure you get your friends to help you when you're doing something like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put outward pressure because if I was to take a sledgehammer right now, all I would do is beat that latch down. I wouldn't get it to come out. So this is gonna pull pressure on it and I'm gonna tap it with the sledgehammer ever so slightly and it's gonna come out and down.
It'll stop moving once the vehicle solids up. See that move? So what I'm doing is I'm releasing the pressure in the sheet metal so that it wants to relax. So let that off and that should straighten out. So yeah, that pretty well held right where I want it to. This should be pretty dang good to put the new back hatch on it. We'll go grab the new hatch and we'll come back and get that thing installed. All right, so we've made it to Moroni, Utah. One of my employees, Jorge, he's got a shop up here that he does a bunch of stuff on the side and stores some things. Well, he's got a landlord and his landlord has like five or six XJs. So we got a hold of his landlord, asked him if he had a rear hatch because we need one for Deja Blue. And he said, yes, come on up. I got a couple. So we're gonna go up, look at them, see which one's the best and buy it from him. And then we're gonna go back and get Deja Blue fixed. That's the plan here. And we're sick and tired of driving around with a wrecked Jeep from the off-road record games. If you guys don't remember what happened, Corey, show them. That means I ought to bumper car him. <laughs> well, we just got rear-ended on the trail. Now I'm not pointing any fingers about who's at fault. We're all kind of at fault. It was for entertainment. So don't get all upset. We'll fix it. It's, everything's fine. Oh, look, there's the boss. She can't talk because her voice is gone. Hey, hey Colton. All right, so we found the stockpile of XJs. So we just went over it with the owner. We cut a deal, ended up paying $300 for this back hatch. I'm not even mad about it because it's in dang nice shape, but it is white. We may have to figure something out. Anyway, it doesn't have everything in it. So we're, we're gonna pull some parts out of another one that's red so that we have a complete rear gate. All right, so this red one, he doesn't want to sell me this because it's still in really good shape, but this white one over here has a really good back hatch. So we're gonna be taking this molding, this handle, possibly the wiper. Let's go take a look at the white one. So this is in perfect, perfect shape. The only thing, missing the molding. Oh, we are missing the wiper motor. So we do need to gut that other gate fully to get all the parts, but that's okay. This is gonna be perfecto. So this will be simple. Oh, shocks are bad. This will be simple. We'll disconnect it. Oh, look, there's an engine. There's a 4.0. Golan could use that. Got to pull all this. Anyway, we've got a few things to disconnect. We'll pull this one off and then we'll go strip down the other red one. All right, we'll cut it in here. That way, if we put it back into mine, we can just splice it. Now, this one I know has a plug. So I think I got to pull that. I haven't done an XJ rear hatch for quite a while since the banana. It's been a couple years, but we're going to start remembering here pretty quick. You just keep holding that. I got it. Well, they were kind of working because just got real, not real heavy, but a little heavier. That's good. A couple more bolts. Cut this off. Use my little pocket wrench. Get these struts off. Look at that. Voila. It's just that easy. Okay, so you can see the whole inside's gutted. We're gonna put this in the truck and we'll gut the red one. So, panel expertly removed. We'll keep that. I don't know if we'll use it, but we'll keep it. Huh. It's got a real nice wire job on it. <laughs> Custom? Yeah, super custom. Well, that sucks. Did it break off? It didn't break, but it spun out. See if I can get it. Might be able to glue it. Okay, that's stained. All right, we'll look for a handle in another one. We need to get this wiper arm off. Actually, we're never gonna put a wiper arm on it. This is an off-road recovery Jeep. We'll fill that hole. Just this clip. Yep. Or the cover. Okay. All right. We did not break it. We got it. Okay. We just need to go look for a handle and we'll be out of here. Got it. Let's get out of here. 
All right, so we got all the parts we need for Deja Blue. We're Moroni, so it's only fitting to take you guys to lunch on this beautiful 93 degree day. I started sweating, so it's obviously hot. We called in our order, so we'll get it. I'll show you guys what we got before I drive. We won't be driving and eating today. Don't worry, we got the truck on autopilot. We got Colton some drinks, got some chippies. Colton got himself a burrito with jalapenos. Ooh. And I got me my go-to, sausage breakfast burrito. You can't go wrong. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and eat this without you guys watching us eat our food. And then we'll be back to the shop. All right, so we just got back from Moroni. We got us a super nice white rear hatch. We're gonna hurry and bolt that thing on and see how well it opens and closes. And then well, I've got an idea. We might throw some paint on it, but we might not. Let's take a look and see. So we have a few parts that I just pulled out. Hillbilly's gonna back up the truck for me. We got a few parts here that we had to pull off of other vehicles. So we've got a handle and a rear molding. So let's put them all on. Um, we also have a brand new set of struts. So we're gonna utilize these, put those on. Basically what we wanna do, put the handle in it, make sure this thing's gonna open and close. And then what I might do, if we put some paint on this, I'll probably have the guys get that all sanded for me to where we can get it all painted. First things first, let's see if it fits. Pretty. So we've got these new struts that we're gonna put on. Okay, that should hold. All right, we'll just get these kind of put where they go, but we're not gonna hook them up because this will be coming off again, just out of the way. Gonna shove in the wires. Come down a little, just gonna watch it. Down down so the handles on these are super simple just a 10 millimeter nut on a stud get this clipped in all right moment of truth <laughs> the mic could just adjust it in slightly give it a little bit of inward pressure it's sealing up though look at it look at it look at how How nice that he has. Where's your, your push button to open and push button to close? Right there. And then, beep, beep. Look at that. Auto closes. Auto open. Auto opens. Okay, well, that was simple. Silly kids. They're not done. It's called the Patreon Blue. <laughs> Not patriotic blue. There you go. Deja patriotic. Red, white, and blue. This is the Freedom Jeep. Okay. <laughs> Should we paint it? Yeah. It looks better than what it did, but it still needs more. All right. So now we're going to put it in reverse. We're going to take it all back off. So, Corey, put it in reverse. It's just that easy. I want to go ahead and take the handle back out. This is the great thing about bodywork. Put together to take apart. Nope, oh, broke that clip. We'll need a new clip. So I broke the clip down inside here, so we'll need to change that. But I'm gonna have Hillbilly to get this all disassembled. We'll have Cody pull the back glass, we'll sand it, and we'll put a splash of paint on it. Just another day in the body shop. Back to what I'm good at. Like that? Just window yep. left? Just like that. Okay, let's finish that up. Bada bing, bada boom. The last thing is removed and got the light. Okay. Never mind, it wasn't the last thing, I lied. Last, second to last, but definitely not least, is the outer trim piece that holds the, and the only thing it really does is holds the license plate light. Last well, screw for this panel. Boom. Third brake light. And then I'll flip back over and pull these out. There we go. Let's grab the wonder pliers and pop those out. 
Last clip. Okay, Cody, here we come. This is rock solid, dude. This ain't got no give at all. Let's flip it over, Hillbilly, and take a look on the backside and see. We'll see what we can do, as long as we don't break the glass. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, we got one pass cut with the shorter blade. Now we're gonna hit a little bit longer blade. We're using the hand one so we can ride against the pinch weld and save the molding the best we can. A little red in the face. It's a little tight, man. Oh, sweet. We're making some headway there. Got the top loose. It's still easier than that Jeep uh, top I done. You done it. We are good. We saved it. That's money, dude. Oh, if I had an extra one, I'd drop it just to mess with people, dude. <laughs> all right, so Cody got the window all removed. Now, tomorrow morning, Sean is going to remove this light. And I already know we went through this with mats. It's not DOT. I get it. But we're going to remove it because this is a banana replica. So that's going away. And the windshield wiper, rear wiper hole is going to get welded up also. So after that, Cody's going to get it body worked. They'll get this section primed. And we're going to paint it. Okay, let's work on the lift hatch or the rear hatch for day job blue. Gotta get all this urethane off. For you guys that don't know, urethane is what holds the windows in cars and trucks, vans. So I gotta get it off so we can send the lift gate and get get it painted. So you just take a nut, razor blade, comes up like butter. Okay, the razor blade wasn't doing too well because there's a little bit of a dip in the hatch that I didn't know about. So I got a wheel lock with the crud thud on it and it's doing the job. Okay, I got all the urethane off. So that means I gotta get some 320 sandpaper and sand the hatch. Got the 320 on the DA. Turn that down, I don't need to grind through it. And just gotta get rid of all the shininess. Okay, my step of this is done, which is uh, 320 in the whole deck lid and red scotch bright and getting rid of any of the shininess, which if you see, there's still some shininess, but that's where a dent needs to be fixed. So I'm not doing that. If you want to fix the dents, easiest way to find the dents is with, the, uh, with shine still on it. But the next step is Sean. She wants this deleted and this deleted. So now I'll let Sean know that it's ready for him for whenever he's ready for it. Deja Blue's rear hatch is ready for you. So when you're ready for it, just sitting over behind the... Bombi. You hanging out today? Bombi. Hey. Bombalicious. Bombalicious. They don't want to talk today. Don't want to talk. So when he patches that hole, he's just gonna weld it all the way around. He cut out a piece of steel, gonna go all the way around it and then he'll grind it and smooth it out. And then on this other one, where the windshield wiper was, he was explaining to me that's just a chunk of aluminum. And he'll just fill that hole in with a weld and then that aluminum will take all the heat so that doesn't dwarf. And that's how you patch a hole, two holes. So Sean said he's gonna do a little more. I don't know what he's gonna do. But he said he's gonna do a little more, but then it's gonna get passed on to Cody and Cody's gonna do all the body work on it. He's gonna fix all the little dents. They're all marked. He's gonna go through, do what he needs to do, sand it down and then he'll prime it. All right, we're gonna go through, uh, I guess Hillbilly got everything stripped. I'm gonna go through and get the glass coat that Sean put on, sanded down and smoothed out. So we notice there's some door dings. We're gonna go through and fix along the way. A little bit of damage right here. We'll get this all smoothed out and primed, and then it'll be Robbie's turn to work on it when he gets back. So now that we got the body filler knocked down, we're gonna mix up some glaze. Glaze coat all the filler work, and then the little dings and stuff we found out while we were uh, going over it this morning. So we'll get this spread on there, get a little bit to dry, then we'll sand it. The next step you'll probably see is when we're getting ready to prime it. All right, I went through, got the filler done, the glaze work done, found a couple more little dings. I had to take care of them, I couldn't let them go. So we're getting ready to prime it. First, I'll go over with the coat of epoxy where we've got the large bare metal areas. 
usually just do a little bit of etch on the small ones but we'll epoxy over it give it 15 minutes put three coats of regular primer and then it'll be ready to go under obby Okay, we gave it the 15 minutes for the epoxy to kick. Got the bare metal and everything covered. Put it over some of the bodywork as well, just to be sure. So now we'll hit the regular primer on here and then you'll see Robbie sanding and painting. All right, so I was gone for a day. So Cody got the bodywork all knocked out on this, got it primed. I'm gonna get it all prepped up and then we're gonna paint this today. So got a lot to do, but we've got a lot done. So it's a good thing to have a team. So when you're gone, things still get done. All right, so I had Sean fill in a couple of spots where we're not gonna have a light back here and we're not gonna have a windshield wiper. So I'm gonna block those out with some 320 on a block. You wanna make sure that you're crisscrossing your sand scratches. I hope you guys enjoy a beautiful montage of sanding. We got this area all blocked out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the guide coat, re-guide coat it, and then we're just gonna DA it all down, get it prepped for paint. out with the DA. Now, I do want to explain to you guys that if this was a show job, I would never, ever, ever touch it with a DA. I would do it all by hand with a block. I would be very, very careful because you don't want to put ripples into show jobs, but this is, this is a workhorse. It's okay. And it wasn't even that bad. There was a couple spots that I did block. Other than that, this came out just fine. So I'm going to go around and get all my edges all cleaned up. We'll get it unmasked. We'll get it all blown off and get it in the booth. But still got a little bit more sanding. Now I remember how much you guys love sanding, you know, like on the Golden Nugget for five months. That was fun. Now we're going to sand on Deja Blue. Only for a few more minutes. Top of this, all the primer is prepped and this thing is just about ready for paint. I'm gonna flip it over, make sure all my edges are good on the other side. And then we're gonna take it over in the paint shop, get it all cleaned up. And then all we gotta do is paint it. So this is pretty well prepped out. Like I said, I'm just making sure all my edges where the primer was is all sanded. That was pretty good. There's a couple spots where the paint was peeling. I'm gonna grab the DA. Try to feather those in just a little bit, and we'll get this over to the paint shop. I just realized one thing. This molding, it goes on the outside, did not get prepped. So I'm gonna hurry and sand this up, and then we'll have everything prepped and ready. Gotta make sure you get everything. <laughs> So I rushed 
rough everything out with the DA and then I go back and I just sand it all up by hand. We'll get this all finished up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And we are locked and loaded. So now, all we gotta do is paint it. So we got up to this point. We've got a lot of stuff going on. And it's the weekend. So, you're gonna have to wait to get this painted till the next video. All right, so we're getting back to our roots, doing body and paint, just like you guys all wanted. So, we got the body work all finished. We got it ready for paint. We ran out of time of the day. So, anyway, as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.